Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on part 23 of Tavi's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode, we finally found Karlak. And it all went better than expected when Will and her actually made friends with each other. It is very nice that we now have a barbarian in the group to tank, however. Karlak may give me a small bit of a nervous breakdown if she continues the cursing and she might need to go into timeout. But let's jump straight back into it and let's see how things go. So here we are again back in camp. All in all, we're actually doing fairly all right at the moment, being honest. Uh, let's check in with the resident good boy of the group and see how he's doing. Hope you're keeping well, friend. As always, my friend. Pet him. Yes, you are the best boy ever. We now have a barbarian who will not stop cursing. It's quite good. Goodbye. <laughs> I just like check it in to see how he is doing. Now, when we came back here last time, we did long rest. We had a little bit of an upsy daisy with Asterion the last time where he did die. Thankfully, we had Witter's there to combine his soul back to his body. Well, I mean, depending on how much of a soul a rogue could possibly have, he'd done his best anyway. I think. Well, where we were is actually quite a good place for us to actually just go back out to, I'll be honest. There's some places around there that we actually haven't gotten to explore yet. So no harm, we'll come back out this way again. I'm pretty sure we got everything here that look, we could realistically. Now I'm pressing Alt. Sometimes it will show things and then other times it won't. I don't know if that makes sense to people. Maybe once it's been... See, the way it's saying that is emptied, right? But when I go over here and I'm pressing old, it's... Maybe it's because Tavi isn't close to it. No, see, it still isn't. So I don't know why that happens What's sometimes. If you know, maybe comment below and let me know. An open heresy. Did I read this? Oh, I don't think so. Few recognize Shar as a goddess of creation or Saloon as a goddess of destruction, yet both are true. Born in the primordial ebb and flow of time, they forge Aber Torel together and Chantia, mother of life, sprung into existence. Light and dark hung in the perfect balance, embraced by Shar, enlightened by Saloon. Yet their creations were cold and distant, and Shantia prayed for want. This simple request divided the sisters, driving them to conflict. But it was Saloon that forced true flame into Aber Terrell, sparking the sun. How could Shar not be harmed by such a betrayal, forced to war against both the light of the sun and the light of the moon? As the goddess tore each other asunder, they formed new gods and new conflicts, all for the sake of a little warmth. The lesson is this, to put selfish comforts over the fate of existence is folly. For those who understand, the Lady of Loss is always listening. So yeah, just a bit more of a background into Shar, the Lady of Loss, who... Of course, if we remember our lovely Shadow Heart follows. We've been learning quite a lot about Shadow Heart the past while through the books, really. And I do. So, my theory to things, which I don't really want to say, give spoilers in some ways, if that makes sense. So, it's not really a spoiler, I suppose, me guessing or trying to summarize. Now, I'm fully aware that people are probably a lot further along than I actually am. Probably in your own playthrough. 
But what I am guessing is, and this is my theory on things. All of them. Now, I don't know about Tavi. It could be actually Tavi included, being That'd be honest. Useful. Are from history or the past, if that makes sense. And I don't know if I would call it a rebirth necessarily. But it's like, I don't know if they were frozen in time, maybe, and brought forward to now. Now, the only thing that is kind of conflicting me with that, I will say, though, is Astarian had that fella sent after him now. Even though, see, elves in general can live for a long time, and I'm assuming probably kind of half vampires can too. That's the only thing that is possibly making me think it might not be what I think it is, that they're all from maybe thousands of years ago. Something traps, please. awoken them to have to come here to fight what is going on now. That is my theory on things, especially uh, Shadow Heart and Lazel. I don't know if they were the two sisters that we read about in the book, one being a cleric, the other one being a fighter. It's just, it'll be in, that's my theory so far. The only thing throwing me off now is the fact that Astarian has the monster hunter after him. So that is bringing us more into real time. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Time will tell, of course. Now, if it's show me a vantage point, I'm absolutely going to go up here just in case there's anything for us to see down here. We're back at that bridge. Oh, yeah. So it must be showing us this. So some more knolls. Um, that's fine. We can take them on. Now, of course, this place looks like it's been slightly ravaged too. Well, definitely with the blood in there. It might bring us... Oh, I thought it might bring us around to the back of here. It's not. That's fine. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll take these guys on. Going to just do a little F5 on this now and just try to figure out the best way of doing this. We should have, I would hope, advantage there. due to That's just great. being up so high. Oh, well, I <laughs> should have possibly hidden first. Even though, is he not hidden there? Maybe not. Let's, oh, it's that one spot. Um, On the hunt. Ah, look, it should be fine anyway, hopefully. Now, who looks the strongest? So we have 22. Um, this one actually looks like he's more in charge than the hunter, hunter. High ground hiding hmm. we'll go for the one with the higher health i suppose that makes the most sense make it hurt higher health is possibly going to be strongest out of the lot of them so that's kind of the one we want to get away the quickest we'll end that turn seeding fury maybe a bit of a barbarian oh kind of move People are going to be so bored of, like, Tavi's rotation, but I'm sorry, if it works, it works. And I go with it. So I go to try to put it down here First on the two of them. The Moonbeam. Yeah, I just, I love Moonbeam so much. Yes, here we go, one down. Ah, it's a shame he didn't get hit with it. Starion is hard, I suppose. Look, that was from the arrow. Now, soul numbed can't take bonus actions or reactions. That's that's fine. Oh, that was a crit. That wasn't nice. Well, an old healing word on our friend there. Move herself forward. Luckily, we have this high ground. Not enough movement speed. That's no problem. 80%. Mm, yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, that was a miss. Let's go. No problem. Oh, yeah, our friend. We could probably. Oh, she'd <laughs> she'd be not prone, right? <laughs> that may have been a bit too ambitious for me. 
Now, is that a troll or... No, too low, too low. Oh, it's held. Cleave. Blocked. Can't reach destination. Reckless attack. Yeah. That's okay. Do I want to run her down? Might just arrow. 60%. 60, 60. She does have high ground. This. No harm. 6. Is it amazing? No. Will I start running her around? Maybe. Heading out. Yeah, I'll just move her to there in case they start running up the back way. Shift. So he's kind of... Even if he goes here, Up -maneuver them. he should be able to... Oh, he can't use bonus actions. Forgot about that. Right, just normal attack. Five. Yeah. Slowly but surely we'll whittle them down. Missed. Very nice, Tavi. Now, who do we move it on to? That's only at a two. He has full, so let's should put it down on him. Pestering Frenzy. Yep, yeah, that's fine. He'll start in there anyway. And at least, look, we've moved yourself out to start to protect if they do come after us. Of course, Darian is not having a great time at all. Oh, he has only two left. Trying to think we probably maybe have more of an advantage with that. Five. That's another one down. Do I want to waste that? No. For another round. And you were not going to rage. I don't think there is much point in us raging, I'll be honest. But we will. Ah, oh, not enough movement. For any of them. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, Everyone let's just like do that mate. for now. Ah. Move Over down a bit there. further. And that. Astarian. Let's see now. Decisions. Still soul numbed. We can use this though. Oh, he can't even do that. Uh, we would very much like for him to not die. Gonna put him there and just hope for the best. Indeed, Fury and Shadow Heart. Oh, very nice. All three of the mist. Straight back down on you, my friend. And that's you done. Uh, I suppose, yeah. Look, she's going to. I'll short rest him anyway after this. No harm to use a few spells. Go on. Oh. I was hoping she'd get an opportunity attack. <laughs> May as well use hers as well. I mean, Cure Wounds is going to heal more than Healing Word. But they have to actually touch them to be able to do it too. And it must count as maybe an action. But I don't mind. That's okay. This is a bonus. We're going to put that onto them. Enough. Yeah, perfect. End. <laughs> no. She, I was thinking she may not be able to use that. We'll keep, we won't use that just now. We'll keep that for when we need it, but we will try lacerate. And there we go. Nice little short rest. Some rest is better than none. Absolutely, my dear Astarian, it is indeed. What to do? We'll go down now and... What's inside? Just, I suppose, loot them, really. Did we come... Oh, yeah, that's the way we came down. Yet again, it should have been a bit more sneaky sneak with my going around there. Uh, but look, we, we managed it anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Hmm. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Let's have a read. 
Written in a furious, slopping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic? My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Carmer. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue. Immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake and I shall take this to the highest of authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Alder Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. So I think by the sound of it, he is a child that is a bear. A bit worrying. <laughs> We may come across, said Baroness. Oh, I thought that might be a dead up there. It's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your child's dead. What? This wheelbarrow bucket. I love how they just have random things kind of placed around too. You don't know what you're going to find. Now I'm alting up around here. They're all emptied. Moving in. Still need to get this guy though. Yeah, just more kind of alchemy ingredients. Um, trying to think. Just run up here for a quick look-see in case there's anything major. Lessons for sensible living. Cities and how to survive them. The first pages summarise the contents. The remaining pages clumsily elaborate on them in great detail. Number one. I'm not going to cities. The simplest piece of advice for sensible folk is to avoid cities entirely. 2. On marketplaces. People often tell me, Harrington, my fleeces and turnips are worth more in a city market than at a local village fair. Fools. To them I say, your fleeces and turnips will be robbed long before you reach the market square, and you will have only a few lumps and bruises to take home. 3 on taverns. All sensible folk enjoy draining a mug of locally produced ale in the company of their friends. But some of you may have heard tales of extravagant taverns that populate the cities of the Sword Coast. If broady names like the Blushing Mermaid and the Wizard Staff were not sufficient warnings of their impropriety, impropriety? Let it be known that you will be robbed long before you finish your first tankard and will have only a few lumps and bruises for company. 4. On sewerage. Be like you keep a pot by your bedside and cast out the leavings into a communal pit of a morn. Sensible and cleanly behaviour. Many cities have dispensed with such simple methods of hygienic living and instead the waste of the inhabitants Cumminglings and flows through grey channels beneath the very streets. A breeding ground for murky creatures. 5. I'm becoming lost. Cities are far too large and you will become lost almost immediately. A fellow once told me that Baldur's Gate is actually three cities in one. An outer, an inner and an upper. I believe he thought I'd be impressed but I simply spat in his eye and sent him on his way. Harrington Natanlin. Well, he really does not like the cities, does he? I meant to pick that up. I'm going to bring it with me anyway. Because I just like bringing all the books with me. You never know when it might come in handy or we might have to show it to someone. Uh, more crates, I'm assuming. We'll maybe find, like, camp supplies. What's hiding here? Yeah, we didn't make it here the last time either. Oh, look, more down that way. Gonna shift, yeah. Huh? 
may get our dear friend. Let's group hide. I honestly think. I don't even think Tavi can talk to them, I'll be honest. Look, there might be no harm. Just out of interest, I want to see maybe if she can These talk to them. I have a feeling they're just going to straighten an attack, though. What's up for discussion? Go away, or you will become new flesh. I will make you new flesh. Uh, what does become a new flesh mean? Feed the beast. Feed the butcher. Your flesh will grow inside us. Better flesh. Thinking flesh. Give flesh. Now! Probably should have been tried to intimidate him. We may as well attack. Oh. Oh, they're bloated. Oh, they probably ate too much. Is what the issue is. And... Yeah, you know what? We may as well try to get them... Dead. One down. Up hand attack. Yeah, Excellent. look, we may as well... And we do not have any bonus actions because we used it and we're going to end that. Thankfully, they missed that fight. I think we may have advantage on all of them, maybe. Well, I don't think she will have anything that is going to hit them for... Enough to outright kill them. Now, unless she gets a crit... Four. Look, we're happy with that. Not the worst. A uh, long rest always prepared. It's a bonus. I think we can just put it on anyway. I mean, we did already. May as well look, just put it on. And now, my dear. Yet again, I don't think we really need to be raging just yet. Hamstring, lacerate. Lacerate Eating. is what we want. Yep. Good woman. That's another one down. Enter rage. Yeah, we don't need that just yet. Ten turns. See, I'd want to keep that for maybe a bigger fight. Oh, the rest of them are really all bloated. I kind of feel bad because it may be a slight slaughter. Uh, with the fact that they're lying down and we're attacking them. But at the same time... They can tank their friend for starting to attack us. Five. Yeah, in turn. None of them, yeah. I do now feel kind of bad. Oh. I don't know if he can... I'm pressing shift. Maybe he can just hide then, so cunning Time hide. Oh, sure, yeah, look, because they are probably all, like, lying down like this. Death. It's not the worst thing, though, Let's I'm assuming. The they're obviously bloated from eating all these people, so they're not nice either. I'm really just trying to make it not seem as bad what I'm doing right now. Oh, there we go. Ah, so that's how they're born. Okay. You have advantage, but the enemies, oh, they also have advantage. <laughs> Main hand attack. Oh, not enough movement speed anyway. Let's just... That's dead. Oh, we're going to try to take this one out before it... Yeah, that's not going to work. I possibly could have hit that one. Again. Salesman eight. Heat metal. None of them should have metal on. Yeah, I mean poisonous gas. Another day, another fight. Seven. Yep. What path lies before go. me? Oh, it goes up to full health. Okay. Yeah, I was really hoping she'd get an opportunity attack. Missed. Quite good. We won't argue. I don't know. This guy will not be. He will be threatened. But he'll get an opportunity attack. So we will. Possibly try to disengage first. 
with the cunning disengage if I can find that. And not normal disengage. Is it here? So that's cunning dash, cunning disengage. Confirm. And now we are going to just try to melee attack this one. Very good. Got to keep fighting. I probably mentioned this before. I'm not too sure if they get flanking in this. Flanking is. You get advantage on attack rolls in Dungeons and Dragons if you're flanking with someone else. I.e. I think it's if there's someone either side. I don't know if it's front and back, but you just you basically get advantage on it. Blood. Not too sure if it happens in this though, I'll be honest. Cleave, I mean, main hand attack. Yeah, we'll keep it simple, I think. Very good. No and that. to keep going. That is right, Tavi. We have no other choices. Missed, end, fine. Yeah, look, she's actually, she's doing quite well anyway. And there we go. Place is overrun with gnolls. Yeah, but I think that could maybe be oh. all of them. Nothing good is born from a corpse. This place reeks of blood. Let's go. Before more join us. I'm surprised he doesn't like that. You'd think he'd be... <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> no. Yes, let's. Uh, yeah, get out of that before we set it on fire by accident. Uh, to the good godly folk. These things have stayed interesting. Uh, they, that is very true, my dear. Let's have a read. There's nothing. Have I... Mm, I don't think I've read this. A circular from the Church of Ogma, Lord of All Knowledge. It is stamped with the seal of Breverick Feynor, Most High Lore Master of the Unrolling Scroll Temple in Baldur's Gate. To the good, godly folk of Faeron. In the first instance, and in the name of Lord Binder himself, let me bid you thanks. The realm-shaken events that have since become known as the Second Sundering marked a time of great confusion and upheaval. Gods fell and rose again. Lost continents reappeared, and the very weave shook as the plane spurted a new and yet mysterious order. Such chaos is often anathema to Ogma's sacred pursuit of truth and knowledge. However, with the help of the innumerable first-hand accounts submitted to our agents by good folk all across the continent, the church is satisfied that an image of these strange years have begun to coalesce. As such, we would kindly ask that no further unsolicited materials on this matter be sent to our temples. But all knowledge is of importance. Oh, with all knowledge is of import to the Lord Binder, we are confident that any future plane shaping events will not be presaged in the shape of tobacco smoke or read in the droppings of the village herds. A new and strange age is upon us. For divine guidance, we humbly bid you to look to your local temple leaders and to forward such relevant materials to them. Your ever seeking Breverick Feanor. Servant of Ogma. Uh, we'll take that as well. If she can't, yeah, it's kind of hidden. Pick up. And all to, yeah. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's a lot. As per my last letter. Can't slow down. Perfect. I mean, how many emails have we all signed off with as per my last email? Let's have a read. Though the name of the recipient is obscured, the letter appears to continue a debate of some heat. Your analysis is flawed. The hells are not so simple to understand. Boiling down nine cosmological layers into evil, but with a few more rules, does generations of scholars discredit. Each layer is its own unique moral and magical ecosystem. What Sarel permits in Avernus may be blasphemy to Mammon in the chain cities of Minerus. The Hells bent not only to their own whim and will, 
but to their mere presence. The more souls they acquire, the more that combined influence spreads. Avernus itself is glorious for study. Watch a Yogalot mercenary debate mid-battle with Rakisha and tell me I'm wrong. From its red starless sky to every bloody tributary leading to the sticks, there is something to explore. Of course, getting down there in the middle of the blood war is a bit stressful, but you can't judge what you don't know. I've gotten off topic. The point is, you're wrong. Looking forward to your reply. Best, Silvra Savakas, Sage of Candlekeep. Yeah, this is more... I don't know why in this area, say... Careful, I might. There is such... Um, it's all kind of very religious, isn't it? What's in here? What is in here? Two ears. Green dead caravan agent. Yeah, I'm just assuming that means it's someone good. Maybe this is the missing shipment. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it and I will know because you will be dead. This is not a threat. This is what happens if you open the chest. N F. Hmm. Wonder who that is. Oh, he's encumbered. Encumbered. Right, let's sort by weight. That is probably why we are encumbered. I wonder what one now is to do with build to accommodate. It can't be that one. So we're going to send that to camp. Uh, heavy keep kept closed. I have a feeling that is probably that one. But we'll send some of the armor. I'm going to keep the other ones just in case what that letter is about happens to be here. Oh, she is also encumbered too, I believe. Sent to camp. Yeah, she was just encumbered as well. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below. And sorry if I've asked this already. Is there bags of holding in this game? I would very much like to get one if there is um, just to help out with this kind of situation. I know I really don't need everything I have. I have so many books. I just don't know what ones I want to get rid of. Um, so yeah, if there is bags of holding in this game, please do let me know. I'd love to actually find one. I might just even start spreading this out between them. Give her a firebolt. Grease, good one for her to have. Shocking grasp. These shouldn't, oh yeah, these actually don't really weigh much at all. Don't need to worry about them. Uh, alchemy pouch. Yeah, there's a lot in there. I must start, actually, when I'm doing the camping at night, I must start using the heavier stuff. Ooh, now, is that, that's two-handed great sword. Oh, she is two-handed. That is... Hers actually does more 4 to 15, but what's the benefit? There's a weapons enchantment. She's actually better with what she has. So we'll leave her with that for the moment. I'll just see is there anything much we can... It's light, but it'll do something. Maybe he could use that. Yeah, there we go. I think he'd be more dexy than she would be. Um, need to watch what is she wearing is that see sometimes with barbarians and it's something I'd have to actually really read with her uh, but sometimes with barbarians if you actually put say clothes onto them or armor onto them they can lose some of their strength or some it's hard to describe I don't know if strength is actually what I mean but how do I say it? They lose... Well, well, well. Maybe some of their actions, some of their strength. Lucky. Yeah. 
Yes, again, you can comment below if you know what I'm trying to say. Gate closed. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture, reward, rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common citizenry. Thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teeth, while native Baldarians starve in the streets. For too long, the Grand Duke and his Parliament of Peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. Join the keepers of the gate. Enough is enough. The gate is closed. So it looks to be a bit of an unrest going on in Baldur's Gate at the moment. Which we're really starting to find out here. We're getting a real insight into more the political maybe undercurrent of what's happening there. True. Yeah, these guys. The good godly folk. We read one of those already. It's just there's obviously literature around the place. Hmm. All very nice for the camp supplies then for us to just pick up here. I'll get herself to be the new bag for a while. You pick up as much as you can, my dear, please. Half eaten, half eaten. But yes, actually, I keep going for the automatic one. But I really must start picking what we are going to use ourselves. Uh, just so I can actually start getting rid of the heavier supplies. And I must check as well, does it matter who actually has it? Or who has the camp supplies? Like, I wonder head. if we all have them. Does it just Another step kind forward. of join them all together? Uh, did I get these? Maybe not. Oh, I could go for a good meal. La la la. Gnomes. Brutalized. I smell brimstone. This isn't good. Yeah, I still think there is something underneath. In, in, when I was downstairs in that place. Because it was just too weird. It was like a complete black wall that you could not see through. Now, unless that is maybe a bug or a design that error. Blood. No, never mind. It's like, oh, she has, is it? Does she have? No, no. Hey, soldier. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> deep. She's move. quite friendly, though. I do actually like her. She is a good addition for us to have to the team, I will say. Come on, my dears. Up we go. Let's see. I think that was a way out to another area. Probably the next area. Don't think we can. Oh, maybe we can go down that way. You know what? I mean, we're already up this way for the moment, right? We're going to keep going over this way. We'll find, uh, we might get our friend Nazel back for that one when we get in there. Or maybe should I get her now? Might get her now, actually. We'll go back to camp. I'm actually going to swap Shadow Heart for her. No harm. Um, We have Tavi for heals if we need heals. Shadow Heart, my dear, we need to have a chat. Seems like Will and Karlak will play nice from now on. Saves us having to pick sides. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we should journey separate. I'll look for you here if I need if you. If you're sure. I'm positive. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I need her confidence. We get the... <laughs> we get the artifact, though, which... Bit weird, I won't lie. Um, <laughs> I don't know why we get it. Good thing for Will that Karlak called a truce. A tiefling that mighty would shred him to pieces and burn the remains. Now, what did you need? Yeah, I say Karlak and Lazel will actually get it on done. swimmingly. Now, while oh, 
We will level you up. Fighters are usually straightforward. Like, yeah, you pick a feast. That's about it. Now, what's a good one for her, though? Hmm. Your strength or dex increases to a maximum of 20. Yeah, I mean, Abby might actually be a good one for her. Charger shove. Defensive duelist. While wielding, she's not um, durable. Con. Her con is her second highest. Now, I'm not sure. She could have heavy armor proficiency already, for all I know. Okay, lifetime gave you armor with light and medium. Does she need heavy armor? That might actually be a good one for her. Incoming damage from non also decreases while you're wearing. Ooh. I don't know if we'll get a second feat, but I think that might actually be a good one to start with her. And then maybe, I, just, I don't think we get a second feat in this game, but if we do, she can go up then to that um, weapons, Let's or the, whatever that master one was, that the attack damage is reduced by three when wearing heavy armor. Take all, sort and options. Yeah, because I want to put more in there now. I was kind of hoping, oh, it does work. That's handy. Uh, just like you would, and I'm saying like you would, I'm obviously playing on a keyboard. So this is just a control. And let's send to cam. Oh, that's going to make my life a lot easier than doing it one by one, actually. Uh, let's go by weight. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of letters. Send most of these scrolls back, actually, being honest. I know, I know. I should be using the scrolls more. I just... like, And look, you actually can get them in Dungeons and Dragons itself. I just, I never use them in it either, which... I probably should start utilising all these things a lot more, but... I'm slightly stubborn in some ways, and... I'm just, I'm a very conservative player in general with whatever I'm playing. Um, it's always that fear that I'll use something and I'll be like, oh, I could have used it later on. Why did I do that? Same with spells. I say I am a spell hoarder as well. I don't like... Smell that. Blood. Yeah. This whole plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. Time to press ahead. Yeah, they'll be best friends. Um, yeah. I just, I hold on to everything to last moment. That's kind of a nearly all games, though. It's not just, say, with this, if I'm playing, say, a shooting game and stuff, I'll try to conserve ammo and stuff. Not that I'm even playing these games on... Like the hardest settings. Actually, I should probably hide these. And we have like a quick look around. Great God, Helm. Well, there's clearly something in there that can see us. Now, what we might do first, we might Let's go down go and way. find her group. While we're here. Um, but yeah, I, I conserve things. If I'm in a game with, say, spells and shooting, I'll more than likely... Try to save the spells. Can't. Here we go. And then they won't stop pestering you. That thing could swallow us in a gulp. What thing? Am I missing something? Maybe there's something I'm missing. Has to go up high. What does that look like? Is it a person? Tiefling. 
Maybe to get Yankee Patrol are in there? Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go up to herself first. I just want a little look. Yeah, just talk to her, maybe. Don't waste a step. Seems yeah. like a good moment to talk. Let's see. Hi. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. Eh, uh, what's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. How did I miss this dragon, by the way, that they're on about? Uh, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. It seems you have good survival instincts. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Okay. Goodbye. We tried. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Find the missing shipment. Decide what to do with the chest. But I'm not opening it anyway, I know that much. Not until we figure out now. Next decision, F5. <laughs> yeah, where is this dragon, by the way? How did I miss this dragon? Actually, I just keep getting so sidetracked. Time to rest. Before we go down to them, I'm gonna go this way for a second because clearly there's a reason why we can go here. Just wait till you see Baldur's Gate. You'll never want to leave. I have no idea what they're talking about. They're saying an artist making a statement through a rock. Is it up this way? We also missed on a survival check, so there'll probably possibly be a trap that I'll have to keep an eye out for. Let's see, can we Oh, I thought we would be able to jump up there, I'll be honest now. It looks like a perfect place to be able to jump up to see. Mountain pass. Yeah. Look at it. It looks just like the perfect place for someone to jump up and to have a look. Okay. Do we just jump straight in without... Yeah, may as well. Make a grand entrance for whoever's down there. Group hide. the easy path. Lise Lazelle should meet her friends, her family, her brethren. What's down this way? Oh, see. Oh. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its night. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Yeah, I may let her lead this one. Uh, and we'll just pat the dragon. Um, oh, you know what? We may as well just go because she's not going to really question it too much. <gasps> Wait, where did... Where's that going? Here? Do we go to? Kithrak, we must speak. Maybe I don't get too close. 
You should talk it to them. Honor the command of a Kithrak, young one. It is not your time to speak. Do I pickpocket it? I'm genuinely confused as to what I'm meant to do here, I'll be honest. Um maybe we'll climb up? Do I attack the dragon? <laughs> We could try to pickpocket him. I'm sure that would go down fabulously. Eh. Do we just walk out there too, maybe? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to F5 and we're just going to walk out there and just be like, Hi guys! I'm Tavi. This is Astarian and Garlack. We have tadpoles in our head. She's our friend. Not even gonna hide. Come on. What path oh no, stop hiding. Me. No, come back, come back, come back. Turn off group hide. Yeah, come on, Tavi. Wait, I'm Let's very move. confused as to what's happened. There we How go. How much farther can I go? Yeah, yeah, we may as well know at this stage. If the dragon eats us, eats us, it eats Rider, us. Rider, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Uh, oh my god, I gotta... Yeah, you go ahead. I will speak on her behalf? No. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos. Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver. The Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raiders' hands any more than it does the absolute followers. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm so conflicted as to what to do here. I'm out a silent command. Truth. Persuasion. Mount a, play along. We're going to try to go with persuasion. Oh, I don't think this is gonna go well. Oh my god. Oh, I think I could have inspiration and if there's ever time to use it, it is now. Come on. Come on. Okay. Very good. Okay. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Boss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Very interesting. Hey, we got a lot of experience with us. 
you did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. I wish I could tell her that... Oh, let's have a look though. I wish that I could tell her that he was lying though. It doesn't seem that that would let, let me do that. Uh, convinced. Okay. Yeah. So whatever we do, if it goes along whatever character's way, they get the inspiration. Very good. That, and I don't know if you noticed... And this is yet again more so for non D and D players. So, when Tavi told Lazel to play along, Lazel was basically telling a lie. So what they done in the background, which we didn't see, is with your man, they done. I think it must have been the deception role. So they did a role for him in the background to see could he tell she was lying. He obviously failed that her deception role was higher than what his was. So Never he just be believed off. what she said. Now, if if it if it had failed, he would not have believed her. And more than likely, we probably would have been in a battle, which I don't know if we were going to beat him with a dragon, I'll be honest. So that's just a little background as to what happened there that we didn't necessarily see. Now, yeah, I need to stop taking everything. Want to dance? No, but you can mm -hmm. take some of these if you want. You might find something nice. Take that. And no, we don't need any of that. And you can take the switches. No. I'm assuming money, honey. Oh, not money, but we'll take it. So, I don't know why that's still there. And we still have that mission, a uh, missing shipment to decide what to do with it. Why can't no Tavi just have yet. a quick chat with her? I just want to see, Speak. can we tell Quickly. her that he was lying? Dreams linger. Look uh, how much the tadpole is away from me. Okay. That's fine. I can tell her. I'm also guessing Maybe that ahead. this bridge was obviously put down for a reason to slow how we are going. So yet again, the her her group is probably up this way. Kind of looked at everything around here, possibly. I'll do a quick little loop around just to see. Yep, no. That's if we just want to climb up. I think we might just run up this way and just see can we find her her group. Now we'll be back lying again is the only thing. Um, Yeah, I think that would be nearly good to go back here. Fairly soon. If this is all going to lead somewhere else, I'm sure. I to put my hands on oh, everything. Yeah. The area you're about to enter would be bitterly difficult for your party at your level. So no, we don't want to go there. That's perfect. It is the same as uh, this path down here. They all must go off to the same area, which is, of course, over here. So let me see. So tea house. Quest wise, how are we doing? Still have to save himself. Find them, but I would assume, like, show on map. So they, it's up the mountain pass. Right, that's fine. We're not going to go there yet. Embrace your potential. We absorbed and grew our powers. They mentioned, yeah, I don't, I'm assuming they're telling us we're not meant to go there. Obviously, right. So the couple of things that we need to do. Not the men. Or just take it open. No, we're not going to. I'd actually like to get that back to whoever opens it. I mean, main thing is, right. We're obviously going to clear out what's going to happen here. We're then going to go back here and clear up what happened there. Obviously, if we can get Helsing, Helsing. 
back to the Emerald Grove, he is going to stop what was happening, which is what we want. I think, yet again, I could be wrong. I have a feeling we may have done nearly everywhere we can at this stage. It's really, yeah, I think realistically what is left. Now, I would like to just run down this way. You know what, let's just do it quickly now. I want to run down that way because I like having the map fully explored going. to some degree. And then at least I, I don't want to leave here until I have nearly all of it done, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. And the map actually explored. There's going to be some areas that we won't be able to see. That's fine. But to get up that other side, which I didn't the last time, we'll have to... Making friends. Now, I can't remember what's this. Elite powers. Oh. Okay, completely missed all of this then, didn't I? Um. Oh, I mean, oh, I don't know if we should be using all this, but the first attack roll make gains a bonus equal to your proficiency. Sacrifice half your hit points to heal target. No. Charge forward. No, but this would be a good one. Go on, go on. And when an enemy can't and when didn't cast, you can use. Call when a creature is down to fewer. It, it dies in all nearby T. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll take that. That could have been why we didn't get any visits during the night because I. Possibly should have been doing that all along, and I didn't. So, here we go. Makes sense. I actually think I have another tadpole in there somewhere to eat, too. Well, eat, absorb. I mean, I I'm just assuming they somewhat eat them. And, yeah, I think that is as far as we can get there by the looks of it. Don't know if we're missing anything. Just more of the ship. Oh, there's a pod. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. So I have a feeling that's the one that was over in the actual goblin. You know, the, the one they were trying to ask the questions to that Tabby actually done fairly well in holding that, I will say. Right, look, I think we've done everything we can here. We're gonna go... I know I still have a short rest to go. I want to go back now and actually long rest because now that I've used a tadpole, I would like to see... Are we going to get a visitor? Let's see how much camp supplies I have. To... Oh, well, look. Hellsfire. She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Well, I have no idea who this one is. Hello. Uh, aren't you <laughs> aren't you a luscious thing um, who in the nine hells are you well you absolute stinker you kept me a secret hmm. time to let the hellcat out of the bag call me Mazora I'm Will's patron the fount of his power my pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. 
We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. And at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Oh, well, not. I hate to say it, but she's kind of got him dear. And if you kill, will that get rid of you? You better not lay a damn finger. Blast it all, Will. Uh, doo -doo. Get to the point. What do you want? The point? Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. I don't think that's good. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. <laughs> I oh, think this Will, is bugged. <laughs> don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. That is definitely bugged. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was definitely not meant to happen. Yeah, poor Tabby was like a miniature beside her. Carlac, watch I'll that be mouth now. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. Yeah, he's a good egg, eh, Will. Um, he's a good man. Maybe the best of us. <laughs> you can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Yeah, he's kind of nice. Poor thing. I'll, I'll talk mm, to him last. Word. That'll be some discussion. There you are, my friend. <laughs> You're not biting me again. He definitely seems drunk. <laughs> I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. I wonder is that your man's pet bear that he's after <laughs> eating? Uh, you seem happy. I uh, see. It sounds like a dangerous meal. So is any meal worth having? It's nothing compared to, well, uh, other things I could be dining on, but significantly better than the rats and bugs Casador served me. I didn't even think bugs had. Blood. Um, so does it uh, fly? And what did you do to deserve that? I existed. That was enough for him. He reveled in having power over me. Because those with power can do whatever the hell they want. Lovely. Uh, you think power... He's not free though, so I know her saying that to him. He's going to be like, but I'm not free. Uh, do you think power lets... Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yes. You can't look at the world and tell me I'm wrong. I suppose not, my friend. Um, The strong has the duty to protect the weak. That is completely tabby. <laughs> They're doing a piss poor job, then. The strong had two centuries to pluck me from torture. 
but no one came. No. It was the Mind Flayers that rescued me. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Hmm. Okay. Oh, poor Will. Let's have a chat. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right. And Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pacts tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. Oh, let's see. How do we kind of comfort him a bit? Hmm... You warn me, but uh, packed what bus are packed? Is it what did you expect? She's hardly uh, when she. Uh, I suppose I'd count my lucky stars for it, but I reckon luck is on holiday. I'm only alive because my patron still has use for me. It's Mazora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Oh, poor Will. Hey, you should get out. What are the terms of your pact? I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden. Unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. He's a bit better than I expected him to be, I'll be honest. It's always going to be very upset. I think it's bedtime. I want to see if that guardian is going to come now that I use that. Now let's try... Is that... Oh, I have one pig's head. By the looks of it, um, it seems to be going by weight, which is what I kind of want. Oh, that's too much. We need something with five, one baguette. Let's full rest. I'm so surprised. Still no guardian visit. I won't argue with it. It's just I'm very surprised by it. I definitely thought when I'd used that tadpole it may have done something. Uh, but look, maybe it's more milestone based that the, the guardian turns up. So maybe the next one is when I clear out the, the goblin camp. And then we get Helsing Helsing back to the Emerald Grove. And we'll go from there. But for this episode, this is where we're going to leave things. So I am so happy. Finally, I feel like I'm making some headway with this game. We're starting to see a lot more about what's going on. The episodes are going on a bit longer, but I just feel like once I start getting into it, it's like nearly an hour. But let me know, look, if this length is maybe too much, I can always try to cut it back. Or if you're happy with the length, maybe let me know as well. If you like this video though, maybe give it a like. And if you would like to see future videos by me, maybe give it a subscribe as well. I'm going to put a playlist here of my other Tabby's episodes from start to finish. Well, not finish, but in progress, but to this point. So I will have that at the end here. As always though, I thank you so, so, so much for stopping by and spending this time with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.